What's up YouTube? What's up YouTube? I'm going to be replacing a compressor and a filter dryer. Uh, so uh, let's get to it. All right guys, so I got majority of everything laid out. First thing first, what I'm gonna do is just recover the gas from the unit. Uh, once the gas is recovered, uh, then I will remove uh, this compressor out of the way. Um, and just go from there. I got a new vacuum pump. My other one was still good, but somebody else needed it. So I'm gonna uh, get this hooked up, have the cylinder in a uh, vacuum. I uh, have a uh, cold water running over this while I'm recovering and uh, just go from there. All right guys, so we got it off and we got it off at the thermostat. Alright guys, so we're down to the compressor. I'm gonna unplug it. Leave that to the side. Recover the gas. Sweat this line, which is the discharge. Sweat this line, which is the suction. Pull her out. Put a new in. Just gotta remove our four bolts also. I didn't know they had a dryer over here. Might be fine though. Might have to just replace it too. All right guys, this is a new compressor right here. All right guys, so I was only able to pull out uh, four pounds and eight ounces. Uh, the total charge is about like 5.83 ounces. So maybe about six pounds. Um, anyway, I'm just have to add some, just a little bit, and, uh, yeah, that's all I could get. I mean, it's hot outside, I had a water hose running over that, just to help keep that cool. Alright guys, as y'all can see, we don't have no pressure. So, we only was able to pull out, uh, four pounds, and, uh, five ounces, I believe, or eight, I forgot which the number was. Anyway, I'm finna just bleed this filter out, take that out, and go from there. I do have a wet rag, so we don't start a fire or anything. You know, we'll be able to put it out, but got it wet, so yeah. All right guys, so I got the discharge line unsoldered or unbraised, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I'm removing these bolts. Now, the reason why I'm removing it so I can move the compressor that way so it could be easy to maneuver. So I don't have to be fighting with that suction line. Got uh, one bolt out. And most of these bolts are like half inch. That's held by these, these compressors are held by. All right, guys, got it. Uh, go ahead and lift her out. All right, guys, so I'm gonna sand these lines down real quick. All right, guys, got lines sanded, got this area pretty much cleaned up and uh, put in a new compressor. All right, guys, so make sure you got the right voltage uh, compressor. Make sure everything, you know, match up. Right now, I'm going to put these uh, feet on. And then I'm going to remove these plugs in a bit. Remove this and uh, toss her in there. All right, guys, got feet on. I'm going to pick her up. Turn 
That was a fail. Of course that would happen. All right guys, got compressor in, got my lines in. They went in pretty easy, especially after sending. As you can see, she looking pretty good right now. What I'm gonna do is just put in a bolt on each side. I'm gonna start from there, 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 and there. Do a crisscross pattern, just like putting on a tire or something. All right guys, so I nearly got all the bolts on, just finishing up tightening. Got everything nice and snug. I think we have to weld up it's these two joints right here. I didn't realize it had a uh, discharge uh, dryer. I was trying to see if I had that size, but apparently I don't. I believe it's a half. My first time seeing uh, put the dryer on the discharge for a residential unit. I mean, I don't do them a lot, but I do them. But yeah. Y'all let me know if y'all usually change these dryers on the discharge side. Y'all let me know. Some of y'all might be disappointed, but say I don't have that size. So at least we're still changing the dryer on the uh, liquid side. All right, guys, now we're on a liquid dryer. This dryer goes both ways, as y'all can see. Usually they have one arrow, um, important. Uh, if we just had one arrow, something like this, it would be going towards the evaporator. You don't want to have your liquid dryer uh, going backwards, but this one go both ways, so it really ain't gonna matter which way it go, but I'm gonna just have it this way and uh, just uh, hook her up and go from there. All right, guys, so filter dryer went on easy. Now I just gotta get this other end and had to kind of pull this line out so I can have uh, more room. I'm probably the first thing I weld up and then I'm gonna weld up um, inside there, place it in a deep vacuum and uh, go from there or add some pressure to make sure I got no leaks. But um, I'm just put it in a deep vacuum call, make sure I get all my leaks and all that, just make sure it's all welded up and all, so yeah. Alright guys, I got a liquid dryer welded in. Not perfect, but she would do. Alright guys, so I got her nice and welded up. Look like crap, yeah I know. But she in nice and tight. Now I'm gonna just uh, put in a vacuum, uh, put some stuff up, uh, run a new wire. Uh, the old one, which is right here, it kind of seemed like it was rubbing against this copper right here on that uh, suction. You can kind of see the marks. But anyway, we're gonna replace this one. So I could reuse it, but why not go uh, with uh, the new plug in and uh, just keep this for spare, maybe just in case uh, for something like emergency wise. All right, guys, got our wire ran through. Got the old one right here. Got in vacuum while I'm doing the wire. All right, guys, got leak detector. Got soap bubbles. Gonna add some uh, pressure on there. Uh, leak check around my welds, make sure I have no leaks. Uh, if we good, uh, fill her up, uh, add a little bit of Freon, and uh, go from there. 
All right, guys, so we got pressure on the system. I'm trying to see if I'm picking up anything. I did let uh, some little gas out so the air could escape out of the line. So it might be around here, still around here. Anyway, follow up with soap bowls, really not getting nothing. Cross, have to reset my uh, leak detector. Alright guys, got breaker on, got thermostat and cool. Um, gonna have the unit running. Got a time delay on there. So it should kick on any time. Got a hot mess going on right now. Side pressures right now. I didn't even really get it closing. But anyway, I ended up getting the compressor back going. I checked the amp draw. I had about seven amps. Uh, eight amps. Um, I added the gas that I recovered and then I added about like a pound or so. But it's running. Go see what it do and all that. Uh, my coworker recommended a compressor and all that. I mean, that's what he said. It was running insufficient. So anyway, uh, he was thinking it was a TSV, but I changed the compressor, changed the dryer, got it running. It was about like 90 something, 80 something in there because I know they ended up turning out the unit. So it's going to be a while for it to pull down and for that suction to get uh, where it need to be at. My pressure for 14 days is running around like 60 or so. I think it should be higher than that. But I just added what I need. Didn't want to overcharge or anything. Just see what it do and uh, go from there. Uh, but she is running. Uh, I'm gonna go about two hours or something away just to check something small. Uh, this one, man. This one had my head steaming. Like my head is literally hurting right now. Uh, the sun, man, was beating down on me. I still push through it and all that. I think it's about like 110 or so, 105. So I should have invested in the umbrella and all that. I know somebody said that before. Uh, might need to take heat and all that so I can shave myself from the sun. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Something quick and easy. Um, like I say, we're going to see what it do and all that. Uh, I know the lady, she been kind of talked to her. She said we've been having trouble to keeping that room cool. She was recommended that they get like some black uh, shade, you know, just to help keep the sun out. But I guess whoever said that would help. I don't think that would, I don't know if that would help either. I think it will cut down from the sun for penetrating in. I'm not sure. Y'all let me know. But we trying to keep the units up and all that. It's always something. I thought my damn cylinder wasn't active or nothing. Cause I was like, why the hell my damn compressor like ain't running? But I had to make sure my wire and all that was uh, correct and straight. So I got it. Um, I'm finna stop by a gas station, uh, get me uh, water and a nice Gatorade or so just to hydrate. And that's pretty much it. But uh, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. So small, something quick, not too crazy. I don't know why I'm gonna drop this because I am gonna be on back roads and all that. So it might be later tonight. So I'll see y'all though. Be safe. So I'm here, they said produce cooler is making loud noise. Uh, the lady who called it in is not here. I had to verify that wasn't uh, the produce cooler. 
Uh, it's drawing the back side, all the fans, you know, running, don't hear anything, clicking and clacking. Um, I asked the manager, and I, she called her, and she said it was the case with the cucumbers and all that. And I don't, really don't see nothing, to be honest. I thought some water's gonna be on the bottom side, but it's not the case. You know, as y'all can see, there's cucumbers right there. This is how I'm checking. Case is pretty dirty, but. Yeah. Guess I can remount this because that's not even screwed in. I'll just make sure everything nice and tight, drain it. Don't see anything crazy. Alright, guys, my plan is just to tighten up these uh, thin. Feel pretty loose. Hmm. Get this one. It's probably not a quarter. Nope. As I think about it, cause I know they got a guy that work at this produce. Ooh, I can have water. Possibly been high, so I'm probably just get a vacuum, just vacuum it up, vacuum up the drain, and uh, just tighten everything up. Probably the case they probably did something about it. It's just fan probably just hitting the blade, making a loud noise. Hey right, guys, let me tighten this side up and uh, get my vacuum. Should be nice and stout. Wasn't really getting nothing. If y'all don't know, this is the same store that um, was uh, leaking over there. I don't see if they did anything. I see when I look under the case, I ain't really see nothing. I don't know what they're gonna do about it. But she is filthy down here. That's how rust can start. Alright guys, not the best, it's just residue of the case, but got the drain cleared, got everything else cleared, just to help prevent the water from building back up. Probably have to end up doing that side and all that, but probably do that all off camera, but I'm going to get this case back together and uh, get back with y'all. Guys, I hope y'all enjoy that small little clip. Uh, nothing too crazy on that produce case. They say it was indicating noise. Uh, more likely, it was probably filled up with some water. I can see the residue and all that. Um, like I said, they probably already had it cleaned out. So I just went behind them, just cleaned the rest of the case. Made sure all the fans and all that was nice and tight, no wires hit, and made sure the fan plenum was uh, nice and tight, uh, which it is. So we don't have no uh, unnecessary noises and all that. Uh, if y'all haven't watched my recent videos, I have did um, a dairy case and I believe I did some produce cases and all that. You would hear the uh, fan blades hitting the water. It would be like a loud noise. Like the moment you walk through the door, you can uh, hear it. But anyway, that's gonna be uh, pretty much it. Uh, also, the compressor. I had to change that. Um, I wish I got more footage, but man, it was hot as hell. Like, I was literally like drenched in sweat. Like, I couldn't just pull out my phone and just re you know, record and all that. Um, I'm thinking about using my GoPros and all that, but it's just so much that you gotta do just to transfer. Uh, I just record where I record.
sometimes, you know, it's good talking and all, uh, all of that. So, <laughs> just gotta laugh at myself sometimes. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know if, if y'all would have changed that uh, discharge uh, dryer. I know most of y'all guys gonna be like, yeah, duh, of course. And somebody gonna say, why you didn't run nitrogen through the system? I already can hear it right now and see it. Um, and I noticed like other uh, HVACers uh, or HVAC guys, if they like, you know, doing reels and shorts and all that, and they brazen and all that, all I would see like in a comment section like, oh, you didn't uh, run no nitrogen through or anything of that nature. It's like, damn. Sometimes you don't have time to do all that. Like you want to do everything.